please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? Hello everyone, welcome back to Omegon 2. Today we're going to be looking at another one of these delightful videos of somebody using rather <laughs> amusing mental gymnastics to justify a position that solely exists as a way of saying uh, No, I know better. I am certain many of you are all too familiar with people who are just like that. If you're not, there's a reason for it. Because it's you. <laughs> Why not just take your child's assigned sex at birth and assume that that will be their gender and then just let them know if it's not, you'll support them when they come out. This is the correct way to raise a child. Cross the bridge when you get to it once the evidence has been gathered and you are absolutely certain with medical professionals assisting at every step of the way to ensure that that child, once they enter adulthood, is the very best version of themselves. You're about to take this and go, eh, uh, nah. The parent always knows best, like a customer. In my country, we've seen a big shift, a big shift, because far too many children have been wrongfully transitioned, and parental interference is one of the problems. I have mentioned a woman called Susie Green far too many times, because she's the person who took her then son to another country to have genitals removed, so they could be a fully fledged whammon. The customer is never right, and certainly not at the cost of a child. This is a question I get asked a lot. Um, and for those who are new to this channel, I practice gender neutral parenting, which means I'm using they them pronouns for my infant until they're old enough to let me know what pronouns they want to use and generally try to use gender neutral language and let them wear and play with and do whatever feels right to them. There are some who will argue that that is the correct way to raise your child. I had housemates at university that went on to have two daughters and they intentionally, long before they were even born, settled on gender neutral names because they're lazy. They went with the most basic bitch names you could imagine. I would argue, if you're gonna go down the sociological path, you're introducing something that is vastly too complicated for a child to understand. Therefore, they should be raised with the gender they are assigned at birth. You know, the one based on biological factors. If we allow children to choose who and what they want to be as a child, they will all choose and want to be a dragon and or Spider-Man. I am not necessarily against this. I do, however, think this will lead to an increase in child endangerment trials when you think it's okay for them to learn to web sling or fly. My child is five months old right now, so what feels right to them is mostly putting their own toes in their mouth. But yeah, we definitely considered raising River as their assigned sex at birth. Since they are only five months old at this point, all these discussions about gender and biological sex are a bit redundant. Once they start to develop, you need to support them as best you can as the very best version of a parent. Gender ideology and the confusion surrounding it will not help your child in the future. It is my only hope then that your child rebels against you as a lot of children tend to do when their parents are, to them, crazy. Although in this case, there's some merit but we didn't decide to do that for a number of reasons. For one thing, uh, somebody's assigned sex may not actually fit into the binary that people are often used to, right? Like, intersex people exist. For that to be applicable, dipshit, your child would have to be born with some reproductive aspects or sexual anatomy that does not fit the boxes of female or male. These are typically corrected on babies and children to make their bodies fit what is considered the binary. So any of those underlying genetic conditions that cause abnormal development, yeah, are dealt with. Therefore, this is a redundant point. You're trying to use biology to make what is considered typically a social point. On a child, this is not applicable. Please tell me River is a biological male and you're too scared to play catch when they're big enough? But also, we talked to other people who raised children gender neutral, we took some classes, we did some thinking about it, and we decided the best way to let our child just be a child was to practice gender neutral parenting. So my question would be, if then your child, at a young enough age, started demonstrating traits that were male or female, would you encourage that and embrace that, or would you consider that child still confused and treat them with neutrality 
and by extension would you continue to use gender neutral pronouns on that child in this called river because even if you do a great job encouraging a child to explore their gender identity assuming what it's going to be sets them up into a very awkward dynamic the only awkward dynamic comes from a parent confusing the child at a young age about the identity they have as a child. As far as I'm concerned, a child is either male or female. How is there any level of confusion here? Lazy parents go down the path of gender neutrality because they can't be asked to embrace one or the other. No one would willingly want to have a child that is trans, or non-binary for that matter, because that would mean there is something wrong with their child that needs to be helped, treated, cared for. You would want the very best version of your child, I fully endorse adults exploring their identities, of course I do. Children, no. And I'm never going to change that position. Where they need to be the one to realize something doesn't fit, figure out what it means, put it into words, bring it to you, process that conversation with you. So basically, they have to work out the confusion they feel to then have a conversation with the person that introduced the confusion in the first place, who will undoubtedly manipulate them, gaslight them, and convince them that they are let's say, wrong if they try to go down the binary path. Your job as a parent is to nurture and educate. That is your job. To show them love, to show them restraint, to show them how to be better than you. You would seek to drag them down and confuse them as a child. That's what you would do. I'd call Child Protective Services on you. That's what I would do. The dynamic you are trying to infuse into your parent-child relationship is one where, apparently, you are the fecking messiah. You have the answers, but don't at the same time. Because it is their job to work it out. The easiest way that I think I can describe it is that I think these days, a lot of people realize you really can't assume you're going to have a heterosexual child. Sexual orientation and gender identity are not remotely the same. You could infer that perhaps those who are more inclined to explore their gender identity would be more inclined to explore their sexuality as well. Sure, go right ahead, but they are not the same, and when it comes to sexual identity, you definitely don't want to associate it with your children. That is for them to work out when they grow up, not for you to even consider. Their gender identity is also something, like you've said, not something you really should be getting involved in. So for the sake of it, you should raise them as their biological sex until they get to the stage in their adult life where they want to explore that, if they want to explore that. These levels of confusion are just leading to more and more idiots sitting in their cars, bleating on about their identity on TikTok. I've covered a lot of them on this channel. Have you noticed? And in fact, thinking about your child's future sexuality is kind of a weird thing. It is. But lots of people seem to want to think about it, don't they? I've seen a meme diversion video discussing uh, Pride and a um, pair of parents mockingly coming into a room. You know, I'm just going to play a relevant clip because it's appropriate now. Happy Pride! Oh. Mom, Dad, I told you I have a girlfriend. I'm straight. Sweetheart, Carol! No son of mine! will be straight. Sweetheart, I know that you are young and you are confused and all your little perverted friends on the internet have told you that being straight is cool, but the first day of pride is not the time. You are not my son. Oh, all my life I pictured myself sitting on the couch with my son watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and you've taken that from me. No. Instead, you try to let your kid be a kid and let them know you'll love them no matter what. And then when they're old enough to figure out who they love and what that looks like, if, if they love anyone, then they can come to you and you can talk about it and you can have an age-appropriate conversation. Oh, so there are aspects of your child's life you don't want to be involved in until they're old enough to make an adult decision on something that is very much an adult concern, like gender. Yet you are unwilling to make that concession when it comes to gender because I think somebody deep down wants to have a uniquely gendered child. And you really don't know how to throw a ball. Or play video games. Kids like video games. We are putting that same kind of practice in, but around gender. And people might point out, well, it's way more likely your kid will be queer than it would be for them to be trans. I would argue that we are under a false impression of how many people are queer or trans. Oh no. I get the feeling you want your child to be trans. You do realize children aren't trophies, right? Everything you've said in this video would lead me to believe that I actually have a point. 
and that you are an inept parent, desperate to have something unique to show off because you failed at everything you've done in your life. Which seems a bit harsh, but at this point, I am done caring. Parents like you are an abomination to parenthood. The privileged position you are granted to nurture and raise the next generation, when in reality, you just want something to show off. Like parents did in the old days, but what they did was put their kids in clubs, make them get involved in parades, make them do sports. Now it's all about those labels, because that's less effort. Because only recently in contemporary Western societies has it been accepted for people to be those things. That is true. Of course it is. Western contemporary societies. So what they mean here is correct society, that is. Only the correct version of the echo chamber, because the others cannot be for as long as they deny these to be realities. What you're not acknowledging is the rise of children wrongfully being diagnosed with gender dysphoria being transitioned to then detransition later on or to consider and cause self-harm upon themselves because they were not, by their parents or by doctors, treated correctly. That's why we're seeing this big boom of young people coming out as trans or non-binary. And as somebody who came out as a trans teen, it's been a really interesting process to watch that shift, even in my own lifetime. Interesting is the correct word to describe this time we live in. I highlighted the detransitioning aspect. Because for as long as there is the risk of children having to detransition for being wrongfully diagnosed, I'm unwilling to endorse any child being put through that process. I will firmly stand, regardless of how well you've turned out, on the side that humanity needs to reach adulthood before it can make life-changing alterations. Let's go with that. This gender-neutral parenting style annoys me as much as the overbearing parent type. You either have a micromanager or you have someone that confuses the feck out of their kids. It's not a healthy attitude to have, to confuse your children, who just should be treated as children. Your appeal to authority is a fallacy, nothing more than that. And just because you turned out in your mind well does not mean the same is applicable to your child. 